welcome back to my channel and to another college week in my life or if you guys are new here welcome my name's emma this is my last week of my sophomore year of college which is absolutely crazy uh yeah it's it's finals week over here so since i'm moving to ukraine this summer to teach um i'm actually missing technically like the technical finals week um thankfully i only had one exam that was actually during finals week and my history professor is allowing me to take it early i'm supposed to take it wednesday uh still don't have the study guide for that by the way so I'm gonna have to uh study super hard for that like tonight if i get it and then mostly tomorrow which is i'm usually like a three to four day study year kind of a gal but i guess one day is gonna have to work today is monday april 22nd uh i leave for the ukraine on friday so i really only have um about three more days of school Thursday, I'm hoping to have mostly everything done so that I can focus on packing and shopping for last minute things and whatnot. So just a quick rundown of what I have left. Um, I have my nice little like checklist. My mom also just walked in my room. It says, woohoo, you got this, XOXO mom. So thank you. I mostly just have papers and exams left. I have no like actual assignments really. Um, so I have a biology test. I have um, a test in my intercultural communication class as well as a final paper. I have my final exam in history. I have a final research paper in my liberal arts class as well as a weekly paper because he somehow thought that it would be a good idea to assign a weekly paper. We usually, I think we've had like maybe 10 or 12 weekly papers throughout the semester um, and he thought that it would be a good idea to assign one last one right uh, on the last week of class while we're still finishing up our research projects. So. Um, it's honestly not a surprise from coming from him. I should have probably expected it, but I was like, no, like, I think he's going to be nice. And not that this is mean per se, but it was just a little unexpected, I guess. Um, so I have to write that. It's pretty, like, informal, not, like, super big deal. Um, and then that's really all that I have schoolwork wise. Obviously, if I wasn't leaving the country for three months, it wouldn't be near as stressful, but I have a lot to do and not a lot of time. And so I think once like I take my history exam Wednesday, I'll be like pretty good because I do feel pretty good about everything and I feel like I have for the most part enough time to get everything done. Um, but it's just, it's coming in close. It's, it's the semester dropping up and just lots of things to check off. I do work at 1 today. It's 11:46, so I have about no well, not even an hour until I have to leave. So I think I'm going to go sit outside because it's so beautiful out and I'm going to compose a few emails and just do um a few little things and then I'm going to eat lunch and then go to work. Um and then yeah, that's pretty much my day. And I don't want to talk too much. A lot of people have been saying, "Oh, like you talk too much. Your videos are too chatty. Like you need to actually be showing us what you're doing instead of talking about it." Try videos like that's why I, I kind of like watch them on because I like to hear what they have to say but I don't know you can't please everyone all right so I'm gonna head outside get some work done and then go to work <laughs> So at 7.55, I got home from work around 7.20, and then I just showered and I ate dinner, um, and I'm going to work on my study guide for history. I think that's literally the only homework that I'm going to do today and tomorrow because I feel like I really need to study for it, <laughs> um, and I was kind of like looking at the study guide, and a lot of it is from lectures that we haven't even like been lectured on, um, so I am taking the exam like an entire week earlier. Um, and so there's still two more days of lecture, Wednesday and Friday, and I'll be there Wednesday. I'm missing a Friday lecture, um, but I was just kind of, like, surprised. I don't know. I guess I thought that you would, like, kind of tailor it for me a little bit, um, which is probably dumb. Professors don't really do that, um, and I think it's already great that he's, like, letting me take it a week early, so nothing against it, but, um, it was, like, in 1948, what revolt happened? And I was, like, 1948? Like, we only got to 1945. <laughs> So, lots of Googling, um, and I don't like that too because it's like, I can't recall, like, I can usually recall lectures and be like, oh yeah, I remember when he talked about that, but now it's like, gotta Google it, gotta Google it, so um, yeah, gonna work on that, <laughs> study for that. My cousin actually called me as well while I was in the shower, so I'm gonna give her a call back. <laughs> So 
So it's Tuesday afternoon, it's 1.48. I am almost to my massage place. I'm getting a full body massage and then a facial. And I'm so excited, I haven't gotten either one done before. Um, my boss actually gave me a gift card for this place, like. 2017 Christmas and I haven't used it since and I told her that I was going and she was like oh you should get a facial too so then she added on a facial for me as my going away present which was super sweet so I'm so excited just to like get pampered for two hours straight <laughs> um just like de-stress a little bit before um my exams tomorrow and Thursday and leaving Friday I just got here I have paperwork to fill out they said before I start and I'm already like five minutes late so I'm gonna go in and do the paperwork and relax all right so it's way later now it's actually nine o'clock um i haven't talked to you guys since before my facial and my massage also sorry my window's open um and we have like a little pond thing in the backyard so there's lots of frogs and they're very loud um but yeah my facial massage were amazing um my full body massage was so so good and like very much needed um my facial was really nice i don't think i would necessarily do it again just because i feel like that's not really something that i like need to do um but it was still really really nice so thank you to my boss who gave that to me it was awesome um i just feel like very like de-stressed like it was just a nice two hours um and then yeah i met my grandma we went supply shopping for my summer and we got some good stuff for arts and crafts and whatnot and then i met up with uh, a couple of my roommates one of them actually couldn't end up making it she said she was running on like six hours of sleep and it's like finals week and exams so i totally understand so i met up with the other two and it was so nice i'm so excited to move in and to have my own house and have roommates and i'm just like so excited i'm about to spend like the next hour or as long as my brain will allow me studying for my history exam so yeah that's the plan for tonight i feel pretty good right now but usually once i start studying i start to crash and once it starts to get dark out um so i'm gonna try and at least get 30 minutes of studying and then I might just like watch a show. I'm watching Broadchurch right now on Netflix. It's so good. And I'm on I'm on the last episode of the season, which is when we find out like murder and stuff like that. So I might finish that tonight and then just go to bed early, wake up earlier and study tomorrow. Because I'm usually like a, I don't know, I like to study before I sleep and then I feel like it kind of sits in there and then I know it better the next morning. I don't know if that's a real thing. All right, so it's Wednesday afternoon. It's actually right about noon, and I am leaving UC Claremont for the last time, which is crazy. It's like super exciting, cause like I'm almost done with college. I only have a year and a half left, but this was like such a good choice for me. UC Claremont, if you guys didn't know, I've never named it before, but I was like, oh, since I'm leaving, like I'll name it. Um, so yeah, it's UC Claremont. There's also UC Blue Ash, which I've also heard is good. Some of my friends have gone there. And Community College is just such a great choice. Um, I feel like people completely write it off. Like, no, we have to go to such a nice school and pay tons of money and, you know, live in dorms the first year and all that kind of stuff to get the real college experience. And that may be true, but like community college and saving money and having smaller class sizes, professors who actually care about you, who know you, who want you to do well and succeed, I feel like is a better choice than like going to a big university where literally you blend in and you don't stand out and there's no way like really to stand out, I feel like, unless you like talk in class a lot, which is not really my thing. So yeah, that's my little spiel. You guys know I'm such a community college pro person. I think it's awesome. I think it's just such a great option for so many people um, to save money, to get your two-year degree, should anything happen. Um, it's just, yeah, it's, it's awesome. So I'm so happy that I went there and I can't believe it's already been two years. It's crazy. I can't believe tomorrow is my last day in the States for three months. It's absolutely crazy. Okay, I'm gonna finish on driving. I'm headed home just because I want to eat and to change for work so I don't look like such a bum. Um, and then I'll be at work and then more homework tonight. So I'm off to work, but I thought I'd just show you guys what I'm wearing first off. We have these little earrings that are from Target. They're like little diamonds. Um, this necklace is from Forever 21 a couple years ago. It's pretty old. This white shirt is from Target. This purse is also from Target. And then these super cute pants are from Sweet Life Boutique. I think they're originally free people though. Um, and then I just have on my white Converse. 
all right so it's been a little while i think the last clip that i filmed was me oh about to go to work i was showing you guys my outfit um so yeah work was good and then after work my dad and i went out to dinner which was nice uh then we came home we watched our planet which is so good i just like love nature shows i think they're super just cool and just very like informative um and then i went to bed i woke up uh i worked on my essay for liberal arts a little bit study for my biology test i just took that with my mom we're about to go grab lunch um at my sister's work she works at skyline it's a cincinnati place so i think we're gonna go do that because she's serving um and then we have to run some errands i have my whole list of stuff um it's mostly like hygienic items like toothbrush and toothpaste and sunscreen and feminine hygiene stuff and a little bit of makeup and stuff like that um and then i have to get a few more supplies that they asked us to bring over and yeah i have to return a dress at target um i think we're gonna stop in tj maxx and then come home and i'm gonna start packing which is so crazy honestly can't believe i'm leaving tomorrow like it's almost one so like i'll be at the airport in 24 hours So I'm actually gonna go ahead and end the video here. It's only 3.28 um, and I just feel like I've done a terrible job filming this week, um, especially today. And yesterday I just kind of wanted to be present and not to have to worry about like filming clips and getting a nice montage and stuff like that. So I hope you guys understand just with finals and packing and leaving and all that. I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to subscribe and follow me on Instagram to stay updated, to keep up to date with my little summer abroad adventure. Thank you guys so much for watching again, and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye!